What's going on theme park fans? How you all doing? Today we're at Beamish History Museum. Uh, it's going to be a fun, uh, chill day out where we're going to see some like stuff from history, uh, like 1900s. I believe they've just opened a new 1950s area, so we'll take a look at that. Last time I came here was like two years ago, so I'm very excited. Um, but yeah, we're going to get the trams, as you can see behind me. And yeah, uh, I'll see you when we get to the next area. Alright, so we have arrived at our first stop, which is the new 1950s uh, street. It's not really a town, they're building more of it. Um, I'll show you some of the construction work a bit later after I've taken a look at everything. But yeah, this is pretty cool. As I said, I'm a guy who likes a bit of feeling, so I like this a lot. Um, so yeah, let's go take a look. I heard there's like a fish and chip shop, like a hairdresser's of what I can see right now. Uh, so yeah, let's go take a look. Now we've just been in a house of a famous artist, I believe. His name was Norman Corlish. But yeah, um, very good theming again. But yeah, like they try to replicate his, his house and they actually have furniture in there, which was from his actual house. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, I, I'm just gonna go have a look in the bar because that looks absolutely sick as well. And then we're gonna go look at the 1900s village. Okay, so there's new developments, as you can see, if it'll focus, um, they're building some new houses, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I'll try and come back and film them when they're ready. Okay, so this is the chemist, with all the medicines and stuff. All right, so this is a comparison from Vaseline now to Vaseline back then. 150 years of Vaseline. But yeah, look at the difference. Wow. This is what an old Barclays bank used to look like. Let's go inside. It truly is fascinating. I mean, compared to the banks that we have now anyways. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go have a look round, see where we can um, like sit in for like a drink or something. Uh, Cause it is lunchtime at the time I'm recording this. So yeah, I'll see you when we get there. And um, it might be in a different part. I'm pretty sure it might just be up there or back in the 1950s. But yeah, I'll see you when we get there.
All right, so we made our way down to the fairground. Uh, this is what a fairground would be like back in them days. We didn't have the smile or anything like that. Uh, all we had was carousels and stuff and uh, some midway games. But uh, yeah, we didn't have like Oblivion, Nemesis, uh, so we didn't have anything like that. We just had these. Uh, so yeah, um, I think we're gonna go down to the pit now, uh, which is pretty cool. I'll see if I can try and record inside of there, which would be pretty cool as well. But yeah, um, let's make our way down to the pit. All right, so we're gonna queue up for the mines now. This is the queue right here. I don't know whether I've built a film in there. I'll try my best, but I've been in before and it's pretty cool. If you're wondering what that noise is, it's like the steam thing over here. I don't even know what it is, but it it looks pretty cool. And uh, we're in the pit village right now. There's some houses over there. I'm trying to film inside if I can. But yeah, um, we're gonna queue up for the pit and I'll see you after, or I'll see you inside. All right, so the queue for the coal mines is pretty long. I mean, we got this annual pass when we paid for our tickets, so like we can always just come back and do it. I mean, it, it, it hadn't even moved and we've been stood there for like 10 minutes. So yeah, it was pretty long. So we're just gonna go into some of the houses and I'll take you in for like, and I'll like show you around and stuff. Um, this is like the pit village houses. So yeah, I've been in them before, but I can't really remember because it was quite a long time ago. But yeah, let's go inside the pit village houses, which are actually just right here. All right, so we've just done the houses. We've got two more things to do in the uh, in the actual town, which is the chapel and the school. So we'll do them two. And then we've got one more thing to do, which I think is the farmhouse. Uh, so yeah, let's do them. All right, so we've just done the chapel. Now we're doing the school. Um, they have like two different entrances, one for the boys, which is uh, right there. And then I think the other side is the girls because back in them days, uh, they separated boys and girls for some reason. But um, yeah, uh, let's take a look in both. I think they might connect, but le uh, let's take a look. So I think these were like changing rooms or something. Wow. Oh, I bet the dog's gone, because it's a big bird. 
Alright guys, so that is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. It's a bit of a change because it's not really a theme park. I mean, if you guys like me doing these vlogs, like a day out vlog or something, if I'm going somewhere, just leave a like on the video and I will do more of them if I'm having like a day out like this, if it's not a theme park. Obviously I will vlog a theme park if I go to it. Um, I've got a surprise coming in about three weeks, but there's, a, there's gonna be a separate video on that of the future of Theo's theme parks. So stay tuned for that and that leaves me with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you in the next one, peace up. guys. I'm going up. Haters wanna hit, but I still don't give a fuck. I'm going it feels up. like a good day, a great day, not a bad day, hopefully not a sad day. I just want today to be no having the hammer, bashing the keys on my piano. Don't got time to lose, I'm coming through, but I believe in you.